Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 6th of August, 2024. The Indian markets failed to hold on the morning gains and ended lower for the third straight session on August 6th amid volatility led by mixed sectoral performance. At close, the Sensex was down 166.23 points or 0.21% at 78,593.07, and the Nifty was down 63.05 points or 0.26% at 23,992.55. HDFC Life, SBI Life Insurance, Shriram Finance, BPCL and SBI were among the top Nifty losers, while gainers included Britannia Industries, JSW Steel, HUL, LNT, and Tech Mahindra. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Gakalda's exports shares have surged on Tuesday as the company could end up being a potential beneficiary as a result of the political crisis in Bangladesh that led to the ouster of now former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. The crisis in Bangladesh may result in export opportunities for many companies, particularly to the US market. As per data from the WTO, 9% of the total global exports to the US were from Bangladesh, higher than India's 6%. Similarly, 21% of the total exports to the European Union are also from Bangladesh, according to Euroshort. Until 2022, 11% of the total apparel exports globally were from Bangladesh as well. According to an investor presentation from Gakalda's exports, China's share in these exports are also on the decline, thereby increasing the India opportunity. In an interaction with CNBC TV 18 on June 24, Sivaram Krishnan Ganapati of Gakalda's exports said that the company has aggressively started to diversify away from China and is hopeful of double digit growth in the current financial year. Ganapati also said that the company is aiming to double its revenue run rate in the next three to five years. Shares of FMCG firm Marico, which owns the Safala and Parachute packaged oil brands, on Tuesday fell over 4% amid political turmoil in Bangladesh from where the company earns around 11-12% to of its revenue. We remain concerned about Bangladesh in quarter 2 financial year 2025. Other FMCG companies have highlighted a significant adverse impact in quarter 2 sales in Bangladesh due to massive protests. Marico has the highest exposure 11 to 12 percent of consolidated business, for others, exposure is small, Nuvama's Abnish Roy said. However, since Marico has been operating in Bangladesh for more than 20 years, the adverse headwinds shall not affect much its competitive position, he said. While releasing its June quarter results, the company said the share of Bangladesh in its overall international business has been on a declining spree. From 51% in financial year 2022, the share of Bangladesh in Marico's international business fell to 44% in financial year 2024 and is seen as falling to 40% in financial year 2027. During the quarter, Bangladesh registered a 10% growth in constant currency as the business stayed resilient and sustained its momentum. While Bangladesh and Vietnam have led from the front, the strong growth momentum in the MENA and South Africa businesses has visibly strengthened the broad-based construct and offers margin upside over the medium term. This has resulted in visible geographical diversification in the overall international business, reflecting in the reducing dependence on the Bangladesh business, Marico said in a regulatory filing. Shares of Symphony Limited up 18% on Tuesday's trade after the board of Symphony Limited today while reporting the results for the June quarter also announced a buyback of 71.40 rupees crore along with an interim dividend of 1 rupee per share for its eligible shareholders. The board of directors has considered and approved the following in their meeting held today, the proposal for buyback of up to 285 600 fully paid up equity shares of face value 2 Indian rupees only each, equity shares, by the company, buyback, representing up to 0.41% of the total number of equity shares of the company, at a price of 2,500 Indian rupees only, rupees 2,500 only, per equity share payable at cash for a total consideration not exceeding INR 71400000 rupees 71 crores. 40 lakhs only, said the company in its filing to the exchanges. The record date for the purpose of buyback as well as the interim dividend has not yet been declared by the company.
As per the company's shareholding on a pre-buyback basis, 73.4% of the shares are held by the promoter and the promoter group, while the remaining 26.6% rests in public shareholders' hands like the FIIs, Indian financial institutions, mutual funds etc. SP Apparels Limited in daily time frame is trading around 944.25 points with a change of 20% and is trading with a net volume of around 585.918 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 864.96 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 66.72. Indraprastha Medical Corporation Limited in daily time frame is trading around 311.05 points with a change of 19.82% and is trading with a net volume of around 6.665 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 271.91 which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 74.44. Symphony Limited in daily time frame is trading around 1,462.15 points with a change of 18.87% and is trading with a net volume of around 4.01 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 1,251.35, which is a good indication for the stock. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 78.28. For the stock recommendation we have, Indraprastha Gas Limited looks good and can be bought at 536 rupees, keeping a stop loss of 521 rupees and a target of 555 rupees. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!